to read Space Hunt from Alien Adventures. Let's start. Chapter 1 Mission Moxor. We should arrive at Brownland Moxor in 20 minutes, said Cat, turning round to face Max. Max jumped his fingers on the desk. He couldn't wait to get to Moxor, find the final fragment, and complete their mission. Our data shows that Moxor is a hostile planet, said Seven. Searching for the fragment could be tough then, added Ant. Nock looked around at his friends. We can't give up now, he said. We need all four fragments to save planet Texas. Don't worry, Max promised. We're not turning back now that we've come this far. Planet Moxor information. Planet Moxar is a desert planet. It is home to some of the deadliest plants in the galaxy. It has one stretch of water, the sea stripe, that runs through around the center. It has three suns, known life forms, Moxorians, grumpus plants, surface conditions, very hot and dry, rocky desert cliffs. Dry, rocky, desert, sea stripe, cliffs. Just then, a warning alarm filled the bridge. It sounded like the loudest siren in the universe. Danger! Danger! Said the ship. Tiger looked at the front view screen. I can't see anything. Cat studied her scanners. Me neither. Wait, she said with a gasp. A large shape began to pulse on the screen. Cruel ship coming in fast, she cried. Badlow's metallic army had been hunting the friends relentlessly. Badlow wanted the fragments too. If he got his claws on them, he would be able to control the whole galaxy. Chapter 2. Spotted. Seven tapped the control panel to override the alarm. It finally went quiet. I'm getting a message coming in, said Ant. He pressed a button on his desk and an image appeared on the view screen. It was Crew 1, commander of the crew. Crew of the Excelsa, he said. Surrender or be destroyed. Crew 1 vanished from the screen. What options do we have? asked Max. We can try and outrun them, suggested Tiger. Ship, what are our chances? Max asked. Outcome uncertain, replied the ship. We have to try, Knox said. Max thought for a moment. Tiger's right. Our best chance is to try and get to Moxor before the crews. We might be able to lose them on the planet. How can we outrun them? They're bigger than us, said Cat worriedly. I have an idea, said Tiger, but it's risky. They turned to face him. We can divert more power to the engines, said Tiger. That will give us enough power to accelerate beyond level 5 and outrun the crews. And Cat. But that means turning off the ship's shield. We'll be sitting space ducks if the crews attack, Cat said. It's the only chance we have, said Max. Tiger, get down to the engine room and get to work. I'll need some help, Tiger replied. I'll go, said Aunt Kutu. And then Tiger ran to the transit tube. Seven rushed after them. Wait for me, I better come too. Minutes ticked by. Max and Cat stayed glued to the scanners. It seemed to be taking uh, Ant, Tiger and Seven a long time to divert the power and the cruise ship was getting even closer. Finally, the lights on the bridge flashed and then dimmed to a red glow. Tiger's face appeared on the community screen. Power diverted, he grinned. Here goes, said Max, slipping into Ant's seat. He accelerated past level 5. I really hope this works, Nox said as he heard the ship's engines rumble and whir. Cat saw the stars 
outside become thick white streaks. Wow, she gasped. Warning, said the ship. Continuing at the speed will result in complete engine failure. One minute until engine failure. How far are we from Moxor? Asked Max. Cat ran back to her chair. Four minutes, she said. Max looked at her nervously. They were not going to make it. Thirty seconds until engine failure. We've got to slow down, Nock yelled. Tiger appeared on the community screen. He was surrounded by steam. The engines are overheated, he shouted. Fifteen seconds until engine failure. Max, what shall we do, cried Cat. Max pulled the lever on the control panel. The ship began to slow. Chapter 3. Space Jump The noise of the engines faded to a low rumble. Ahead, Max noticed a stream of space junk. The ship could be small enough to hide us in there, he said. Take us in, Nob. Nob guided the ship into the space junk. He weaved his way through the floating debris until the ship was deep inside the river of rubbish. Max spoke into the community screen. Tiger, cut all the power to the engines. What? Tiger cried. The crews can't fly their massive ship through the rubbish, Max explained. There's no way they'll find us. Cat hoped he was right. The ship became completely silent. Cat checked the scanners. The crews are close, she said. Don't worry, we're safe here, Max reassured her. We can't stay here forever, said Cat. We only need to stay long enough for the crews to think we've got away, he replied. They waited and waited what seemed to be like an eternity. Then suddenly, some lime green shapes whizzed past the view screen. What are they? asked Cat. The shapes zoomed past the back. Max found. Are those boomerangs? They're heat seeking chill boomerangs, cried Nock. Tiger! And, Max cried, turn the engines back on. We've got to get out of here now! With a giant whir, the micro ship came back to life. Let's go! yelled Nock as he zoomed the ship away from the boomerangs. Two boomerangs were spinning their way through the space junk after them. Nock moved the ship hard to the left, then sharply to the right. But the boomerangs just got closer. Hold on! yelled Nock, putting on, uh, pulling back the steering orbs. Then the ship shot up. Then, backwards into a loop the loop. As the ship swept out of the way, boomerangs slammed into each other, creating a storm of sticky green bubbles. Nock punched the air. We're safe! Tiger appeared on the screen. Did we get away? Cat looked at her scanner. No, she yelled. Another boomerang is coming its way. Nock's face fell. Uh, how far to Moxor? asked Max. We'll be there in one minute, replied Cat. The boomerang caught up to them in no time. Nock pulled desperately at the steering orbs, making the ship spin sideways over and over. Suddenly, whap! The boomerang slammed right into them. The ship was tra uh, trapped in sticky gel. Max thought quickly. Maybe we can melt our way out of this, he said. He gripped the lever and pushed the ship back past level 5. Nock pulled the steering orbs and with all, uh, with all his strength, his arms strained and beads of sweat ran down his face. It's no good, he cried. 10 seconds until engine failure, said the ship. Just then, the gel started to melt. The micro ship blasted free. Entering Moxor's atmosphere now, the ship announced. 
Thunder, I'm seven, said Max. You'd be better get off the bridge. We'll be landing soon. There was no response. Guys, said Cat, peering at the community screen. The engine room was empty. Their friends were gone.